you see that, Trev? What is it? What is it? What is it? Can you see that? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? I'm the zoomy zoom. Oh, good. You're doing all the effects. Yeah, look. See, I picked this up actually when I was down in Stockholm last week. Uh, I saw it on a bottle in a, in a warehouse in, uh, in uh, well, I don't actually know where I was, to be honest with you, but anyway, I saw it, I grabbed it, I thought I'd bring it up here. Um, it's, uh, hello everyone, by the way, welcome to Beer Sweden Television. Trev? It is television, mate. Is See, it? we think like one, don't we? Yeah, because I just wondered. Um, it is a bottle of Brewdog Riptide. Okay, now this is a beer. Great name. Uh, great name, isn't it? It's a cool beer. Actually, it's a beer that Brewdog have been brewing for some time now. It goes back to 2000, right in the early days of Brewdog. Um, uh, but it actually hasn't been released in this country until Trev, October the 1st. That's when it all happened. If I throw up, the, uh, we're a bit early, aren't we? You can't throw up any stats, mate. Well, I suppose I can't really, can I? Well, I can throw up a little bit of stats, actually. I can give you a little bit of information about it. I'll do that. Throw it up. But we are a bit early because we've still got the whole summer to get away with. Summer. See you, I mean. We've got the whole summer to, to uh, sort out first, Trev. Yeah, before, lovely, isn't it? For this. Don't you, some, don't you sometimes just slightly regret living up here? As much as I love it up here. Look, I do. I, I love Sweden. Don't get. I no, do no, love no. Norland. Yeah, Norland. Oh, Norland. I, I love it to bits. But there are days. I mean, yesterday, just so that everyone can put it in context. Yesterday, I was on the beach. And it's right? thirty degrees. It was thirty degrees today. Even I went out. Yeah, even you went. Did you get your legs out? No, but I went Good. out. Good. Uh, but today, twenty-four hours later, nine. was it nine degrees? Battles, sort of grey skies, looks like the sky's going to fall on your head. Awful. Anyway, that's not anything to do with the beer. Uh, Brewdog, you heard about them, Trev? I've heard them mention once or twice. Yeah, okay. A brewery, the, the shock jocks, they call them now. Shock but, I mean, I know we haven't done an awful lot about them. No. But all the other blogs do. do yeah, the, uh, all the time. All the time, on. they just go on and on and on about it. So I thought, you know, to give it a bit of balance, we'll do our little bit. Yeah. Know, just to, no. uh, anyway, Brewdog, uh, shock jocks from um, Fraserburgh in Scotland. Who's that bloke in the wall? Huh? No, I've never seen it. Oh, the foes! Um, it is a m twisted merciless stout, it's called. 8%. Uh, has read the legend, go on. Do you want me to read? Re you know, because Brewdog do some pretty cool stuff. And this one's a bit. This one's a little bit. Even for Brewdog stuff, yeah. boy, um, I must say, you've actually fallen down a rabbit hole on this one a little bit. Because yeah, I was thinking about the word. What's it? Lys yeah. Can you say lysergic dope? Yeah. Yes, yeah. It, it, it basically lets. It's, it's actually written in the style of a poem. Um, it's a bit like Coleridge, don't you think? It is, or Pope, you know, one of those yeah. sort of heavy Augustan poets. Yeah. Um, conceited, lurking, tormenting, under the curse, shadow and flow. Creaking, twisting, haunting, wherever it may go. You can't read it like that. That's how you, poets read stuff, Trevor. No, 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 you've got to read it all gloomy and eerie. Oh, and, and inspiring, foreboding. Vague, setting deep under an eerie sea, trapping, captivating, bewitching, they have no chance to flee. I sound like Winston Churchill, don't I? Uh, the current undercurrent's intensity rises. You can't evade this nightmare. Be valiant, be steadfast, be ready. Try another sip if you dare. I don't rhyme at the end, does it, Trev? No, I thought it was good. No, I missed that. Serving you suggestions. Missed the first, pour into a. Oh, no, that's not right. That's a little bit gone a little bit too far. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, World Beer Awards. Uh, best uh, World, before, best well, sell by yeah, day. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, World Beer Awards, World's Best Imperial Stout 2008. What, what, what beer awards? World Beer Awards. Yeah, where was that? In America. I'm not sure where it was in 2008. Moves around a little bit. Um, now, in terms of what's in it, Trev, um, I've got a few little stats here for you. Uh, it's lots. I tried this actually recently. I have to say, when I was down in Stockholm. Pardon me. Ship's coming in. But well, that was the last episode, wasn't it, Trev? <laughs> um, uh, I'll tell you what. There's a lot of similarity, actually, though. The look at this beer. Look at it. Absolutely. It's another dark one, Trev. It's another really, really dark one. Look at the colour of that. There are some, I'm actually getting a little bit of brown tinge to it, but it's... What's going on? Is it the end of the world? Is, is that, that like a nuclear alert or is something? That, is that the four minute warning? I'll tell you what though, if I was to actually go out, this wouldn't be a bad beer to actually sort of see us all off with, would it? Oh, it's finished. Um, What's anyway, that cloud? Uh, so, um, so it really is uh, look, a stunning looking beer, you know, it really is to form. That's the sort of thing in, you want for a very, I mean, you could basically lie down on that and go to sleep. It really is an, a very... Uh, titanic looking uh, beer this one. Uh, in terms of the malt, uh, marisotta, dark crystal, caramel, chocolate malt, roast barley, a little bit of barley in there that's going to smooth it out a little bit. Uh, hops, first gold and galena, okay, so they've got two actually quite unusual hops for brew dog that being used in there too. And it's also brewed with dark muscovado sugar, okay, so you're going to get a lot of that sort of sweet and hip as well. Should we give it a whirl, Trev, even though it's Thick and syrupy. Really understand any of that, that at all? How are you, Chad? By the way, 
Not bad, mate. Now, on the nose, it's all about malts, all about dark malts. You've got the classics coming in there. You've got the roasted, you've got all the toasted, you've got the bitter, you've got the chocolate, you've got the sugar, the Moscovado sugar, definitely. Um, frying pan sugar that's just been melted, just going black and bubbly at the edges. All of that, a little bit of tar. There's some vanilla notes coming through too nicely. It's absolutely delicious. What I love about it is even though it's got all of this going on in it, it's light, it's 8% but it's not obviously 8%. There's no alcohol hint in it whatsoever. It's just delicious. It's really just a kind of wholesome. I think that barley is actually adding to that as well. Very smooth, soft, inviting, pillowy sort of mouthfeel to it, Trev. I'm on a roll. I am on a roll. You've been inspired There's by the legend. There's also some berry notes as well. A little bit of blueberries or some <clears> dark, <throat> dense sort of forest, you know, berries in it too. Um, Really, really interesting. Um, loving it. Uh, looking forward to October, into uh, October where we can get hold of it. Um, in terms of rating, Trev, I'm going to go high on this one. I like it, I have to say. I know what's going to be said, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hang on, before you rate it, give us a... Do you want to have a little tickle? Just, just before you actually rate because I want to see what I think. Because mm. I'm not mad about stuff. Mm. Very pleasurable. Okay. Very mm. pleasurable. Yeah, absolutely. It, yeah, but it's not kicking me in the teeth as no, it goes No, 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 but it's got sophistication. I mean, mm. it's got a lot going on in there. The malt nice. this is a This is a story. This is a beer with a story based in the malts, okay? And it really is quite a lovely balance between all of those, isn't it? Not too dark, not too bitter. No, it don't go mental. And still has the, the end, density that you need to carry That's on the right. beer like Sugar, yes, it's there, but again, not too cloying. Uh, the mouth feels beautiful on this. Not getting any vanilla though. Um, you're not getting vanilla? I'm not getting vanilla. I love vanilla. Pick out vanilla. Not my um, favourite brewed old beer, but it's nice. I'm not mad about stout. Stouts go, it's nice. No, no, no. This, this, is, this is a beer where the hops, for a change, take a little bit of back seat and the malts yeah. come to the front. Right? Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Uh, in terms of ratings, Trev, um, I'm going to go. No, I, all the fours? 4.4. All the fours? Actually, let's go all the fours. 4.4. Yanni got it right. 4.4. 4. We'll go 4.4, Trev. <laughs> nice one. Bingo. Until next time, everyone. Cheers and beers.